Hi, my name is James. My sign name is James. I'm 27 years old. I'm autistic and member with the DPA Singapore. So in January 2018, I flew to Melbourne, Australia, and Christ uh, Church, uh, New Zealand, uh, to take part in the Asia Europe Foundation Summer University, um, discussing the topic uh, youth, young youth uh, with disabilities. Um, now I'm interning uh, with same organization and helping to implement uh, inclusive policies. Hi, I'm Dorjo Leong and I'm 53 years old this year. Um, I am a researcher and a multidisciplinary artist. So my PhD is in autism, neurodiversity and multi-art practice. I give lectures and workshops about autism and neurodiversity. Um, that word just means diversity of mind cultures, different ways of perceiving and responding to the world. And I also advocate for equity and respect. And I use different art forms to reflect and encourage um, empathy among all people. What I do with my art is to create uh, immersive spaces and environments where people can enter and experience my um, multi-dimensional art. They can touch and feel my work um, and it addresses the human need for um, a richer sensory connection with one another and with the world around us. My work is inspired by my, by my greyhound assistance dog, Lucy, and my autistic consciousness. I was diagnosed more than 10 years ago with Asperger's syndrome, which is part of the autism spectrum. I now identify as autistic, standing in solidarity with all autistic persons with different needs, challenges, and kinds of communication. People often ask me, um, what is autism? Simply put, autism is a neurological function. It means that our brains, our autistic brains, function differently from the normative um, population. The norm. Um, part of autism is the inability or rather the uh, we are slower to understand certain normative social cues so um, it makes us a little bit more confused when in, in social situations um, especially when things are moving too fast conversations <coughs> Um, go too quickly and um, we find it harder to catch up. Another feature of autism that's very common in autistic people is sensory idiosyncrasy. It means that our senses are different. Um, we can sense things that um, maybe other people don't notice. Um, lights can be too bright and they hurt the eyes so there's physical pain uh, sounds can also cause pain vibrations um, personally i feel nausea when there's um, too much noise going on around me because of the vibrations um, and some autistic people are um, averse to certain textures like clothing so that we cut the tags from our clothes away because it's very itchy and it's not just the usual kind of itch it can be painful so sometimes when we experience the, our senses um, too sharply we also have a lot of pain from these um, sensory stimuli 
but on the other hand, it can be a really wonderful experience because um, it, you know, experiencing uh, light, colors, textures, taste, smells on our own terms when we can connect freely can be really wonderful, um, so much more pleasurable. Um, another feature about autism is um, some of us have proprioceptive differences. That means the way we use our body uh, can come across as clumsy, but it is just a different way of um, expressing our body and using our, our limbs in connection with our environment. So for example, I can dance quite easily because there's rhythm in, involved. Um, but when I'm walking, something that people take for granted, I have to keep some kind of musical pattern or, or a song in my head to help me to walk in a straight line. And um, if I miss that, if, if the song sort of stops for any reason and I am distracted, then I'm likely to trip. So um, autism is actually just a different way of existing. We, we autistic people don't like um, when others describe us as suffering from autism because we really don't suffer from autism but we do suffer from a lot of stigma social stigma especially um, discrimination um, patronizing condescension a lot of people still talk to me as if I'm a little child if they find out that I'm autistic you know immediately their tone changes um, and autism has um, has suffered a lot of ignorant misrepresentation especially recently with all these autism awareness campaigns we are represented in all the wrong ways by non-autistic people I think sign language is a very useful language for autistic people to learn. Um, I think everyone should learn it, but autistic people share many things in common with the deaf community. Some of us are unable to speak words out loud, and so using sign is a very good way to communicate um, with non-autistic people. Uh, I know some parents have already begun to teach their autistic uh, children, especially those who find it difficult to speak, uh, sign language. Sign language um, uses the body and it is a very holistic kind of expression and autistic people are very sensory. So when we use our bodies, I think it frees us to express a lot better than just focusing on words alone. Also, for um, autistic people who speak, like myself, there are days that we feel overloaded, sensorially uh, overwhelmed, and we really don't want to enunciate words. If I knew sign language, then um, during those times, I will still be able to communicate my feelings and my thoughts. So um, that's one of the things that uh, are in my entry, is in my entry, I'd like to learn sign language. So my friend, uh, uh, one of my deaf friends invited me to a deaf hangout, a deaf community meeting in Singapore. And, and normally it's said that deaf people uh, loses, uh, lose out in a spoken conversation because uh, it's too fast um, and they cannot follow um, with no interpretation. But in the deaf uh, uh, meeting, um, it was I who lost out because um, I couldn't understand the signs. They were signing so quickly, and I was really uh, ho hopelessly lost without the, uh, an interpreter. And that was when I decided that um, 
as I want to become a stronger advocate with the uh, disabled community in Singapore, especially other disabled groups. Um, um, I decided that I, uh, with the deaf community, I wanted to learn sign language, uh, not just to take part in their conversations and discussions, but also that uh, we can communicate on their own terms. Happy International Day of People with Disabilities.